All right, everybody. So I want to do some more teaching on this subject about Jesus Christ being um, at the right hand of God. And I want to go into the scripture, see what Jesus say, because there's a lot of unbelievers out here who just simply don't believe that the son of God went to heaven. But so now I want to get into the scripture because I want to show you what thus saith the Lord. I don't care nothing about what no man say. I don't care nothing about what your pastor say. You could keep unbelieving. You could call me false prophet. You could call those men of God who standing up for the son of God. All you want false prophets, but we got it right. So now follow me in the scriptures and ignore your pastor. Listen to Jesus. Listen to Paul. Listen to Peter. Listen to John. Forget your pastor. Let's listen to what these real men of God said about it. Now, I'm finna go into the book of Luke. Now, I'm gonna get started right away. Chapter 22. If you wanna listen, listen to what the scriptures say. Then you will know if your pastor's a liar. Luke 22, 69 says this. This is Jesus talking. Jesus says, and he said unto them, if I tell you, Ye will not believe. Even Jesus understand if he tell you something, you won't believe. But listen to what he telling these um, religious leaders. If I tell you, you will not believe. He says, and if I also ask you, you will not answer me, nor let me go. Now listen to what he says. Hereafter, hereafter shall the son of man sit on the right hand of the power of God. Now, Jesus himself said, hereafter shall the son of man sit on the right hand of the power of God. Jesus told you himself that after he died, he was going to sit on the right hand of the power of God. And yet you got men out here saying, well, right hand means power. It does mean power. And Jesus sat at the right hand on the right hand of the power of God. So now he's giving you a differentiation. He's going to sit down on the right hand of the power of God. But these pastors try to discredit where Jesus is at. He said, I'm going to sit down on the right hand of the power of God. And that's a shame. You will listen to a man over Jesus. That's a shame, people. You will listen to your pastor over Jesus Christ. That's a shame. Now, let's go to Romans chapter 8, verse 34. Romans 8, 34. If you don't believe Jesus, let's see if you at least believe Paul. But you should be believing Jesus over anybody. Jesus said, hereafter shall the Son of Man sit down. Hold on, let me cut this light back on. Jesus himself said, shall, um, hereafter shall the son of man sit on the right hand of the power of God. If you don't believe that and you believe your pastor, you better hope your pastor can save your soul. You better hope your pastor going to be your judge. But we all know that ain't true. So let's continue to listen to the scriptures. Romans 8, 34. Who is he that condemned? It is Christ that died, yet rather that is risen again. And it's a liar out here. All true 64, I'm going to call you out because you a liar and you're going to lead people to hell. Yeah, Christ died. We know he died, but he didn't end. Who is he that condemned? It? it is Christ that died. Yea, rather that is risen again. Who is he 
even? Who is even at the right hand of God? Who also make it intercession for us? He died, but he has risen again. And he is at the right hand of God who also make it intercession for us. How is he making intercession for us if he just died? He died, but he has risen again. Why can't you see that? You believe S.C. Johnson? You believe E.W. took over, Paul? You believe them men over Jesus? You a fool. If you listen to Geno Genus, you a fool. Call me false prophet all you want. You are a fool if you believe these men over Jesus and Paul. That's a shame. Ephesians chapter 1. Ephesians chapter 1. Let's see if you can believe this scripture. Or do you believe S.C. Johnson? Or do you believe E.W. Tooks? Or do you believe Geno Jennings? Do you believe anybody in the um, apostolic faith? Let's see what the Bible says. Eph um, Ephesians chapter 1. I'm going to start at verse 20. Do you believe this? It says, I'm going to start at 19. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us with who believe according to the working of his power, which he wrought in Christ? It's talking about God, the power that he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him and set him. I'm sorry, y'all. My voice is hard because I'm man. I'm passionate about this. It says, when he raised him from the dead and set him and set him at his own right hand in heavenly places. God worked power in Christ and he set him at his own right hand in heavenly places. Why can't you believe that, people? You believe a man over the Bible? That man is not giving you the correct interpretation. These men of God had it. They had the Holy Spirit. Why can't you believe these men who were inspired by the Holy Spirit? Why can't you believe these men who were called by God, who wrote this in the Bible for you? Geno Genesis, S.C. Johnson, E.W. Tooks did not write the Bible. But Jesus did. But Paul did. Why can't you believe them? It's because you ain't none of God's. That's why. If you would take a man's mouth over what these men in the Bible said, even over what Jesus himself said, you a fool. I'm telling you now. I'm going to go to Colossians chapter 3. Colossians chapter 3. I got to lower my tone because I'm hoarse. Colossians chapter 3. Verse 1 says this. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above. Where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Now listen, let me say that again. If ye then be risen with Christ, Seek those things which are above where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Christ is sitting above on the right hand of God. Why can't you believe it? It's plain for you. It's plain, people. It's plain. It's a shame, boy. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 10. Let's see if you believe this. Hebrews chapter 10. I'm going to read verse 11 and 12. Listen, people, because you're ignorant. And every priest standeth daily ministering and offering 
oftentimes the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. But this man, referring to Jesus Christ, the son of God, but this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God. And some fool will come tell you, well, right hand just mean power. Yeah. And he sat down in the power of God. I ran that to you in the book of Luke 69. He sat down on the right hand of God in the power of God. I mean, come on, man. Why can't you believe it? It's because you believe a man in his interpretation over what the Bible says. And when you do that, you making yourself out to be a fool and you were just proving even more that you do not have the spirit of God dwelling in you. Your pastor who is telling you who you think got the spirit of God, he don't have the spirit of God because if he ain't speaking what these men in the Bible said, without his own um bull interpretation, Without his false interpretation, that man is not speaking by the spirit. Your pastor is not speaking by the spirit. I'm letting you know now. And if he not speaking by the spirit, he going to lead you to hell. And why are you following him? Why are you following a man that's not speaking by the spirit of God? Nobody have to go in and interpret the Bible for you. Jesus already said it. You don't believe Jesus plain words. You don't believe Paul's plain words. They have the Holy Spirit. You don't believe Stephen. Let's go to the book of Acts chapter 7 verse 55. You don't believe these men who are full of the Holy Spirit. Acts chapter 7 verse 55. Listen, people, but he being full of the Holy Ghost, Stephen was full of the Holy Ghost. The scripture tell you he was full of the Holy Ghost. It says he looked it up steadfast with me. He looked it up firmly straight way into heaven. He looked into heaven being full of the Holy Ghost and saw the glory of God and Jesus Standing on the right hand of God. But some fool to try to make you believe that that being on the right hand of God is just saying power. Being on the right hand of God is in the power of God. But he being full of the Holy Ghost looked steadfastly into heaven. He looked into heaven, people, and he saw the glory of God and Jesus standing on the right hand of God. He saw Jesus standing on the right hand of God. He saw Jesus standing on the right hand of God. It's a shame that you would take a man's mouth over men that was full of the Holy Ghost because you think your pastor is full of the Holy Ghost. That's a shame, people. That's a shame, but you better get it right before Jesus come back. You better get it right before you die, because once you die and once Jesus come back, ain't no taking it back. You got plenty of time today to believe the scriptures, but you believe a man's mouth over what's written in the Bible, and you're going to get what you deserve, and that's hell. Hebrews 4.14, 4, seeing then that we have a great high priest, we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens. He is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the son of God. It's a shame, people, you don't believe what's written in the Bible. I'm going to give you one more and I'm going I'm to shake the dust off my feet. Whew. Hebrews chapter 8, verse 1 says this. Now of the things which we have spoken in the psalm, this is the sum of it, people. We have such an high priest who is set on, who is set on the right hand of the throne 
of the majesty in the heavens. Let me say that again. Now of the things which we have spoken, this is the song. We have such an high priest who is set on the right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens. If you don't believe that, shame on you. Shame on you. God sent me to do this video. He had it on fire in my spirit to send this. Believe was written. If you don't believe Jesus and you don't believe these apostles in the Bible and you believe what some man I hid and told you who was born in 1900 something. If you believe these men who was born in 1960 something. If you believe these men who was born in 1940 something, 1950 something. Over what Paul said. Over what Jesus said, who is the word of God, who was made flesh, who is the only begotten of the father. If you don't believe him, but if you want to believe this pastor that was born in 1960 something, you deserve to fall into the judgment of Christ.